My name is Jack Price and I'm the editor of Ingrid Goes West. Ingrid Goes West is a film about a young woman that becomes obsessed with an Instagram celebrity and seeing this lifestyle that you know is so far removed from her own life, she decides to move out west to try and befriend her and become part of that entire world. And uh, as such with most dark comedies, things go horrifically awry from there. There are complications, but at its core, it's a story about the fear of missing out. I, I became involved with Ingers West because uh, I had met Matt Spicer, the director and writer, uh, two years ago. So originally he was pitching to do another script called Stockholm. And so he hired me to cut what's basically known as a rip trailer, which is where you take clips from other movies and you kind of re-edit them to tell the story of what your script is. And then once you know we started working together, we had this just an enormous kind of brain meld where I felt like we had, were creatively in sync with so many of the decisions. But it was something that I never would have imagined that a 90 second trailer would have led to cutting a full feature film. We were always cautiously optimistic that we would play at Sundance, and that was always kind of our high water mark. But you know, you never know, it's just the level of competition involved. But for me, professionally especially, this has been the, the high water mark of my life, and it's something that I feel like I'm gonna be spending years trying to earn that credit, because it's only my second film, so it's kind of, you know, it's a little surreal, but you know, it's something that I'm just so, I'm so proud of the film, I'm so proud of all the filmmakers that, uh, you know, worked, you know, busted their butts to make this happen. The big tool we used was uh, Premiere Pro, of course. I was blown away by how uh, intuitive the entire program was and how you could keep everything contained into one place. I mean, with Premiere, I was able to basically do an entire feature film with line reading string outs, with, you know, alternate scenes, with selects, all contained in one place, you know, and it became so much easier to manage. Like, I could just literally go to my director's house with my laptop on a travel drive and we were good to go. I think with, you know, having tools like Morph Cut and Morph Stabilizer, uh, just little things we could do to actually hide edits, you know, within the shot itself, which is completely new to me. There's a lot more VFX work than people, you know, realize, I think, in this movie, but I think it ultimately allowed us to have kind of the best performances, you know, from every take. So I'm, I'm very much a believer of using every part of the buffalo. The big thing for me is just like the, the fact that, you know, I had to start on Angry Girls West a week after they started shooting. You know, I knew I had to jump into it and just go full on sprinting. So luckily I had this brilliant assistant editor named Via Jarema who was able to, you know, organize these things, these daily project files, and just email me the files, you know, across Gmail. And I was able to just reconnect them using Media Browser uh, into my own master project and kind of, you know, break them down from there. And I think with Premiere, it gave us that opportunity to, you know, be on different sets. I could be on my laptop, she could be on her desktop, she could be, you know, on the west side of town, I could be on the east side of town and still, you know, nobody would be none the wiser. My advice for any younger filmmakers is you're going to be constantly looking for holes in terms of your experience level. Like, have you cut horror? Have you cut comedy? Have you cut drama? Are you being pigeonholed in any way from the kind of material you're cutting? And I just keep, keep going outside of your comfort zone. It's amazing how the things you learn end up coming back to help you in the end. And, um, and I think that goes, especially as, as a filmmaker, you have to constantly be going outside of your comfort zone and doing things you never thought would have been possible, you know, a few years earlier. So you're always kind of aiming for, to make your better self a reality.